folks. I think it was a good idea moving these hives mm -hmm. inside. Guess the proof will be in the pudding. We'll just try to, we'll set them down, we'll put feed back on them. We'll finally get to them. It'll be Thursday, drop strips, take a peek, see what's going on, and then just leave them alone for a little while. What a mess. Floor can be cleaned up. I should have them flying by tomorrow. That escalated quickly. The bees pointed out my morning laziness this morning. I got to work on the clock this morning and the bees are already up and flying. It's like, ah, damn it. So we strapped them down quick as we could, got them out to the yard, sat them down in the yard and boo. Up in the air, they're flying. So I don't think I've messed things up with too much drift. But they are out. They are good. I was hoping to get these ones out. I only have two rows here. A partial truckload to get out. So they are going to have to wait because there's no way they'll stay in those boxes as I try to get them down into the yard. The second morning in a row now that my bees have told me to get at her. Should have had them down probably an hour ago. Bounce down this old country road and pull into the yard. It's pushing five degrees, nice and sunny, up in the air. So you're just a little bit clingy. They're out and flying and they're just unsettled. I don't know how much drift issue I'll actually experience here, but they'll have to sort themselves in. This year, I, I'm just seeing a lot of unusual things. And I think the most part is my hives are just strung out right to the end. They're just at, you know, kind of like me, I'm at my wits end. These bees are just at the their end. They need a little bit of reprieve here. They need we need three weeks of nice weather to be able to cycle them through, regain the integrity of the youth of these nests. Next three weeks is going to be very, very telling in what I have here. Colonies will be able to maintain themselves, advance, but I'm seeing a lot of dwindling. We'll be seeing a lot of colonies fall back. So we're going to have to be doing a little bit of creative beekeeping here just to help boost some of the ones that show promise but just need a bit of boost it's just it's gonna be an overwhelming feat this spring so in a lot of ways there's not much I can really do about this I have just to let things follow through we should have our medications in by the end of tomorrow which is extremely late that's a mistake should have had that done a lot earlier some of these colonies are failing on me or their uh, their mites one of the issues there. So I should have had the treatments in earlier. Uh, they need more feed, still running into starvation issues. They're devouring these patties, just doing everything. Look at that, they're just so clingy this morning. They'll sort themselves, I hope. The only real thing I can do for these bees right now is just to give them time and to cross my fingers and to hope that Mother Nature provides. With all the punishment we've been getting since most well, last summer, like last spring, we're like 42 degrees. Uh, all summer, massive drought into the fall, just typically unusual. Like what the hell? And then a cold, long winter followed by a spring from hell. So I think we're due for a little bit of help.
working through these archives and I took a little bit of advice from my internet following here. Instead of trying to shake the bees initially off this wet comb, why not just put a box up on top with dry comb and let them move up themselves? And that's worked very well. The bees have moved up. There's also bees that are anchored down in the bottom box though, typically on the dead brood. And this is typically where I'm finding the queen. So I'm going through and just quickly looking for the queen, shaking the remainder into that box, shaking out some of these frames that I can salvage, putting them into that box and closing them up tight. Once I get through this salvage yard here, and which, uh, once I qualify the potential candidates to revive, because I don't think they're all gonna be able to make the grade. Give them a shot of rocket juice, take them back out to the yards and see what they can do.
nothing to brag about this year but there are bees in those boxes.